piece of meat, boy. Go, go, go. Hello, and uh, welcome to Ooh. us talking about StarCraft 2. This is Rhett, the best StarCraft player in Europe. This is Artosis, the coolest guy in Korea. And um, yeah, we're just going to talk about StarCraft 2. You know that battle report just came out. Rhett, you've had a chance to play some StarCraft 2 at BlizzCon. Why don't you tell us about that? Uh, I only played for about five or seven games, but uh, it seemed like a lot of fun. Yeah. The game was very similar to StarCraft 1 in the way uh, the controls worked and you know, the way you, you're using your keyboard. And uh, yeah, it just seemed like quite a fun game. Now, who'd you play your games against? Uh, I played against Machine and Psionic Reaper. Okay. And what was your overall record? Well, the first. I think the first oh. five games against Machine, I lost the first two or three, but then I started winning. So we ended up like 3 3 or something like that. And against Psionic Reaver, I believe I won three games and lost one. Okay. So overall winning record, but perhaps a tied record against Machine. Yeah. Alright, I wonder if maybe the coffee girl in here wants to hear about StarCraft 2 because, uh. <laughs> joke. You're probably still pretty good. Now, what race did you use uh, in those games? Uh, I started off as random, but then, you know, I, I figured out I would just try to play Zerg because, you know, Zerg was actually the most similar really? to StarCraft 1. Wow. Uh, at least compared to Protoss. I thought Terran was kind of similar also, but Zerg just felt like the most natural. Oh, really? I mean, you are a Zerg player, yeah. so it's reasonable. Uh, what units did you really like from those games? Was there any units that stood out that you're like, oh wow, this? If I just keep making these, I'm gonna beat this guy. Uh, well, I really like the queen. Mm. I like the fact that you could uh, spawn additional larvae at your hatches really easily and just get like a shitload of drones or zerglings, whatever you needed at the time. And it also seemed like hiders were like really overpowered. Yeah. If you just say like, if you just make like a shitload of hiders, you're gonna beat like any turn or close one. It seemed like so. Wow. I like using hiders. Well, that sounds kind of easy. I don't know. Did you happen to play any Zerg or Zerg? Uh, no, I didn't play any Zerg or Zerg. Uh, at the time, I also was still a Terran versus Zerg player, so... Oh, that's true, that's true. Uh, I didn't really have any interest in uh, uh, Zerg. That's, that's too bad, because I've really been dying to hear if it just turns into Mass Roach Fest, but... Well, I'll just have to wait for someone who's actually played Zerg or Zerg. Yeah, yeah, if I had more time at BlizzCon, I would have played more, but... We'll have to wait for the next... Next big event, I guess, yeah. yeah. Whatever one that's going to be. I, I think there's going to be one in Busan later this month, but... We'll see. Um, well, you know, you just watched the battle report with me, the fourth battle report. What did you think overall? You know, it looked like a pretty fluid game. Uh, what did you think, you know, about the whole thing? Basically, I thought like, wow, this is just like StarCraft One. I mean, the game played out like totally similar. Mm. With, you know, the dropship opening, and, uh, the siege tank expanding, and then into just like a a mech, a mech army against like. Uh, Storm, yeah. uh, Dragoon, I guess, Stalker. Storm seemed pretty wild, huh? Storm is uh, kind of crazy, because if you just get like, a shitload of high Templars, you can just one by one click them like in a big field, and they'll just fucking destroy everything. Yeah, so, man. And it deals insane. damage a lot quicker now. I mean, yeah, did you see that? You just you click Storm on something, and everything just dies before yeah, it I has thought, a I thought the game was over uh, yeah. during the first attack, but then... The Protoss guy ended up having a couple high Templars and I know, just I know. like raved the army. It's Crushed crazy. that and thank god for those nukes, huh? Nukes? They look usable. And not just against machine. <laughs> I think uh, the nukes look... They look the same. I mean, they didn't kill Nexus. That's true. I mean, it looked like similar damage, but it just seemed like they were much lower tech, easier to get out. Yeah, I wasn't sure about the tech because I, I didn't really know like what tech tree he was on, but mm -hmm. to be honest, I think the nukes are just going to be the same as in StarCraft 1. Oh, uh, not used for really? used to make fun of people and not really uh, like, it's an actual strategy. I see, I see. You know, that game we saw was kind of like, 
I think the Terran player was a lot better than the Protoss player. Yeah. David Kim. <laughs> so he probably just he could do whatever he wanted. It seemed like. Mm -hmm. I don't think Nyx are going to be too viable. Mm -hmm. Not, not I'm hoping they will be. No. It would be fun. I mean, it, yeah. does add it looks cool. Game. That big red light is like. Yeah. Oh. yeah. It does look cool. <laughs> Just like that. Yeah. I'm um, hoping I'll never get to see that on my on my base. Yeah, hopefully not. But I think you might. Um. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, you know, what did you think of the actual mechanics of it? You know, you saw a lot of units pop out this game, unlike a lot of the other battle reports. A lot of microing going on, stuff like that. Do you think that StarCraft One skills are going to transfer over very well to this game, or maybe not so well? Uh, from that game that we saw, it seemed very similar with the, the dropship harass, the multitasking, the micro. You know, if you can get a couple dropships and, and drop a few different places at the same time, it seems really similar to the StarCraft One TVP. So mm. I think a lot of those, if that's really how the game is played, I mean, it could be just like, you know, it was just one weird game where it turned out this way, but if a lot of games look the same way like that, I think a lot of StarCraft 1 skills are gonna, you know, transfer over, but from the other battle reports, it didn't really look like StarCraft 1, you know, this game was like yeah. a total StarCraft 1 TVP. Yeah, it the, really did look like that, yeah. The other, games, the other games looked more like, you know, the ZVPs and the ZVTs were just like a bunch of units going to the middle and yeah. fighting each other, not really the... The, the great multitasking, you know, all over the map, StarCraft One stuff. So. It's a very good point because I looked at that fourth game. And I thought, you know what, this is a much higher skilled game than the other ones we've seen. Yeah. But you know, whether that was because it lined up so well with the StarCraft One game, and I really got what's going on, or the other games were just more newbie. I think it's that one. Um, I don't know. What? It, yeah, it's it's gonna be really you know we really gotta play the game a lot like for a couple of days or a week yeah and you know you, you'll get some sort of standard pattern for every single game where you can really see if it's gonna be just like some massive slugfest where mm. two are two people just make units and attack each other mm. if it's really gonna be like the intelligent you know map map usage you know multitask you know controlling certain areas and dropping and harassing. Yeah, yeah type of game that StarCraft 1 is, and I'm really hoping it will be, because you know, that's what StarCraft 1 makes StarCraft 1 so great. Oh, that is, that is so, so true. Um, you know, I guess that that is a good ending point for this. You know, we went over the battle report, and uh, your game's at BlizzCon. Not a whole lot else, because Blizzard ain't giving us nothing. Not yet. Uh, <laughs> hopefully that beta comes out. Oh my god, I want to play. So do I. Yeah, alright, well, thank you, and Blizzard, if you're watching this, Please send that data out. Please do.